As teachers are using Google Drawings more and more, I'm running into this question a lot. People will say, you know, Chris, I want to put a graphic in, but I want it to have a transparent background. In other words, in this example, they want the UNC RAM, but they don't want the ugly gray background. They want him to look something like this. Now, with some good Google searching, you can often find a transparent background graphic. But let's say in this case you can't. You just have this one and you want to make it look like this. I'm going to walk you through how you do that today. First you have to find your picture. Usually you're going to use something like Google Image Search. So here's my picture. Now what a lot of people do is they stop right here. They say, oh, I'm going to right click, I'm going to save this image. That's usually not the best step. Best thing to do is to, when you find it, to go all the way through, click on view image and get to the actual address of the picture. This is going to get you your best resolution. So what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to use a tool called Pixlr Editor. It's an online photo editor that's very similar to Photoshop, and the address is pixlr.com slash editor. Now, don't get worried when I say Photoshop because this is not going to be that complicated. Now, from here, if you have saved this image to your computer, you can open it by clicking this box. But in this case, we haven't actually downloaded it yet. And I actually like that because what you can do is you can go here and you can copy the URL for your picture. So I'm going to right click and copy it. And you can go to Pixlr and you can choose Open Image from URL. This will actually go out to the web for you and get your picture. So I'm going to delete what's in that box and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste what I just copied. And then hit OK. And you'll see there's my Tar Heel. Now, I'm going to explain to you just a little bit about what a picture needs to have a transparent background. Right now this is all one layer, one picture with gray right beside the blue. If you took a selection tool and highlighted part of this and hit the delete key or the backspace key, you would see that there's nothing underneath this but white. So what we need first of all is we need to have a graphic that has a background layer that is transparent and not white. So to do that we're going to do some trickery. First of all I'm going to hit control A to select the entire picture. So you can't see it but this dotted line is selected around this entire picture. Now you may be tempted to right click and copy at this point but don't do that because Pixlr doesn't support right clicking. You can still use your keyboard shortcut so I'm going to either do edit copy or I can use my keyboard shortcut of control C to copy. So now that we've gotten that copy we're going to open a new image. Now by default what this program is going to do is it's going to take the size of what you just copied and make that the default size of your new image which is helpful but we need to be very clear here that we have to check the transparent background box. What that means is the new drawing we have is completely transparent. You can see the checkerboards tell you that that is see-through. At this point now we're going to paste in our Tar Heel. Now you may ask what did you just do there? There's nothing different. The difference is if I try to delete a space now you can see that it's transparent underneath. What we need to do now is delete all this gray so that what we have under what we see underneath it is the clear transparency. Now you could take an eraser tool I suppose and you could erase it a little bit at a time be painstakingly careful and go around the edges and it's not going to work very well. What we need to do is to use a tool. This is the magic wand tool. What the magic wand tool is, it selects the entire color that you've clicked on. Now in this case we want to make sure it says contiguous and we want to click anywhere in the gray and you notice it's selected all of this. We can now hit the delete button on our computer and it will delete that. Now why didn't it get over here? Because wasn't quite touching at the top and bottom. That's okay. We can simply click on this side and delete it as well. And so now we have our RAM with a clear background. We just need to save it back to our computer. Remember this is on the web so when you do file save you need to make sure it says to my computer. And you can go ahead and title it. I'm going to call this RAM. And then we need to make sure we don't make it a JPEG because we have to have something that has layers. So we have that transparent layer at the back and then the RAM on top. Since JPEGs don't do that, we need to switch to PNG, which hopefully says transparent. Now you'll notice it's got the checkerboard, so we know that's transparent, and we're going to hit OK. You'll go through your dialog box and save this to your desktop or wherever, and now you have access to it, so that if we go to our drawing and we say insert 
image and we look at our computer and look for our RAM there he is and now we can shrink him down the size and we have a transparent graphic on our background thank you